Hi and welcome to our video that's going to be covering the third index law that uh, we'll be looking at which is the power of zero. Okay, the power of zero. This is going to be great. Okay, so what we're going to do by the end of this by the end of this video we're actually going to just I'm going to show you some proof. I want to prove to you that this that any number raised to the power of zero equals one. And we're then going to start applying that with some of the questions. So look, really really short really short video, really simple examples. Hopefully you can get something out of it. This is the law. Any number raised to the power of zero equals one. Okay, that's the law. Any number raised to the power of zero equals one. On the next slide, I'm going to show you some proofs that actually just prove that. All right, and we're going to go through some three different examples on how to prove that. All right, let's have a look. A to the power of zero, any number to the power of zero will equal one. All right, let's have a look on the left-hand side. So if we have a look on the left-hand side here, we've got uh, a little bit of a pattern here, and we've looked at the powers of three. And we've started up here at um, three to the power of three equals 27. If we have a look moving down the chain, if we have a look here moving down the chain, what have we actually done to these numbers? Well, we've actually divided that by 3. Up here with the indices, what have you noticed happened to the indices? Well we've taken one off the indices. So if we start to have a look at the pattern, we've divided by 3 and we've taken one off the indices. Now we're at 3, to get to 1, we've actually divided by 3 as well. What have we done to the index? We've taken one, we've ended up at zero. So three to the power of zero is actually equal to one according to that pattern. And we could keep going down the pattern and actually start to look at negative indices if we wanted to, but that's 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 another video. So from our pattern here, we've discovered that three to the power of zero actually equals one. That's probably not enough proof. You might think, well, that's probably just one pattern. Okay, let's have a look at this next example. We've got a number here, two to the power of three, and we're multiplying that by something to get 2 to the power of 3. So what number do we multiply a number by to get itself? Well, basically that needs to be 1. So it's 2 to the power of 3 times 1 actually will equal 2 to the power of 3. Okay, so and I've put this little, the little blocks in there just to say, well, we need to put an indice in there. All right, well, 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by... 2 to the power of what will give me 2 to the power of 3? Now, if we think of our first index law where we say, well, when we multiply indices, we add them, what number do I have to add to 3 to get 3? Well, it's 0, isn't it? I don't add anything to 3. So what we've got, if we substitute 0 in there, we end up with 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 0 equals 2 to the power of 3. Now, 2 to the power of 0 must equal 1 then. Therefore, 2 to the power of 0 equals 1. And we've satisfied that using index law 1, number 1. Now, let's go over here with our last one, see if it works out. If I divide a number together and I divide it by itself, what's my answer going to be? Well, my answer is actually going to be 1. Any number divided by itself equals 1. That's actually 9 divided by 9. Well, 9 divided by 9 equals 1. Okay, well, let's use index law 2, the division law. So any number, when we're dividing indices, we keep the base and we subtract the indices. So 3 to the, so the 2 minus 2, that actually equals 3 to the power of 0. But 3 to the power of 0 equals 1 because we've divided the number by itself. Therefore, 3 to the power of 0 to 0 equals 1. So you can see on all three, we've actually proven that any number to the power of zero equals one. Let's look at some examples. All right, five to the power of zero. What's the answer? Five, no, one. C to the power of zero. What's the answer? You guessed it, one. Okay, now we've got three to the power of zero plus two to the power of zero. Well, that equals three to the power of zero is one plus 2 to the power of 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 
All right, and our last one, we've got 3y to the power of 0 times 5z. Now that's actually, if we break it down, 3 times y to the power of 0 multiplied by 5 times z to the power of 0. Okay, well, what's y to the power of 0? 1. So that's 3 times 1 is 3. And 5 times 2 to the power of 0. 2 to the power of 0 is 1. So it's 3 times 5. That equals 15. You know, you can almost see here, if it's 1, it, it sort of you can cancel those out. And it becomes 3 times 5. Here you have to be careful because you're adding. We're just going to 1 plus 1 equals 2. There you go. Really simply. Any number to the power of 0 equals 1. We've proven it. We've shown some examples. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've got something out of it.